and welcome back to No More Heroes on the Nintendo Wii. I am One Wild Sheep yet again, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start the beginning of the end, kind of, because we are taking on the second ranked assassin of the UAA. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much right at the final stretch of the game. Now, folks, we got three more parts to go after this, so uh, hope you all as, are as excited and enthusiastic as I am because I tell you guys one thing I am mighty enthusiastic so anyway the upcoming boss fight we're gonna be taking on is bad girl and as you remember from the previous part we have to return to destroy a stadium to do this and you might think oh what the reusing lab la labels they're reusing labels that's a bit lazy of them fret not ladies and gentlemen because we aren't actually really being the level that's coming up isn't really a reused level in any way even though it's going to a certain area that we've been to previously in the game, everything from this point onwards is basically, it's still new stuff, you know, we, we have to do new things, you know, it's not the same old shindig. But anyway, I digress, what we need to do by here is time the Wii Remote swing upwards to jump over that little barrier. Otherwise, we'll, uh, well obviously our path will be blocked and we will not be able to go into this massive parking lot here. Now the timing is a little bit iffy on the jump for the swing, Wii Remote swing, so uh, what I'd advise is swing the Wii Remote up sooner than you'd expect to, because otherwise you're probably, even if it looks like you're going over the thing, until a cutscene initiates you want to go over it because it's actually an invisible wall there. So good luck basically trying to jump over it, it's going to take a couple of attempts and even just getting into this place we have to do the exact same thing. So. You know, it can be quite troublesome if you don't know what is up. Anyway, you might be wondering, where am I going? I'm skipping the boss fight. The boss fight's behind me, you numpty. Well, to be honest, I'm going over here to open up these trash cans. Because inside trash cans, I want to show off that you can actually collect collectibles, such as t-shirts. And also, I want to pick up this lobby cough ball. Now, I am going to pick up a couple of lobby cough balls in... I think the next part? Either the next part or the part after because it's something I really want. But yeah, as you can see, we can't get in there like, No! Curse you invisible wall! I should be able to go underneath that barrier if I really want it. But uh, they want an excuse to force you to use the bike in the upcoming stage because ladies and gentlemen, we are using... God damn it. We are actually going to be using this little bike shindig thing in the upcoming mission. Seriously, they they really wanted to change things up by here, and I'm quite grateful. I'm, qu I'm quite grateful, quite grateful for that. Although, as you can see, it is very tricksy just to jump into this bloody thing. Okay, let's try this again. You know, I haven't really tr touched on Travis's bike that much. He's got a very oversized bike. He must be compensated for something. You think you're sad, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> think I'm bad? <laughs> You don't know how bad I am. I've got the power glove. It's so bad. <laughs> because I say that, but the power glove, it's so bad in that it's actually bad. Don't buy a power glove, folks. <laughs> Trust me, don't buy a power glove. It's useless. But uh, anyway, what we're going to do by here, as you can tell, we are riding our bike inside Destroy Stadium. All we need to do is basically run everyone over. That's all she wrote, that's all there is to this little mission, and this mission will go on for a long, long ass time. Now, I think, I think you can get through this mission quicker if you stay on the bike, because it is possible to be knocked off of this bike by either crashing into the walls or being hit by one of the enemy attacks while you're turning and stationary, so I, the best bit of advice I can sort of give you is to sort of continuously go around them in a clockwise motion and don't do what I'm doing here. All the skidding motion, don't do the skids. The skids will cost you the bike in this mission. Now when you fall off the bike, um, you you would think you'd be able to jump back on, wouldn't you? Unfortunately the game's like, <laughs> no, no, fuck you, you can't get on this bike. You, you've fallen off, you must battle these guys manually. And these enemies, uh, I, I don't know how many of them there are. But I do know they will continuously respawn, they'll continuously pop on in going, Hey, come at me, bro! And uh, we basically need to try and fight them manually. Although I do think that there's less of these guys do spawn if we fall off the bike. But it still takes a long ass time to take these guys down and uh, 
Honestly, just stay on the bike as long as you can. It's the best way to do this mission. It's a very lengthy little sequence, but I, like, I kind of like it. You know, it breaks up the monotony of running around and swinging wildly at people that we've been doing the entire game up to this point. Plus, we get a hell of a lot of cash. Like, I get, like I said previously in the LP, I just love the fact these guys just... Oh, God. No, my bike combusted. No, bike, why? Poor Kwa. Uh, but no, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I like the main gameplay of this, but I, I, you know, having a bit, something to break of the monotony of swinging at people just helps out, you know, ladies and gentlemen. I, you can, I can never fault trying to, you know, trying to spruce things up in gameplay a bit. Unless, of course, the thing that they try to spruce the gameplay up with is god awful, which, in that case, I can complain about it. But it, fortunately, it's not god awful. It's pretty fun here. So yeah, what can I say? Although I do kind of like the fact we get to see this place in the daytime, because that's probably why they thought they wanted us to go back here, because it reuses areas. It's not coming across as too lazy, because well, we were in this arena for a boss battle, so why not use it as a mini game sort of place, you know? Plus, I, I, I don't know, I, I just got a feeling the developers are really proud of this arena. Arena, it's a it's baseball stadium. Well, they were they were proud of this baseball stadium, god damn it. I would make baseball puns, but I know literally nothing about baseball. It's it's not a sport I know much about. To be fair, I don't really know much about more sports. Like the only real sports I I know of you know, I know stuff about, uh, probably gotta be golf, tennis, rugby, and boxing. Those are the only sports I really know about. And don't get me started on eSports, I know bugger all about them. Like, what is this StarCraft thing? All I know is Koreans play it a lot. <laughs> uh, but I digress. Is that a lot of them now? Please say it is. And also be careful as well, because there are trading cards in this giant arena that you're going to want to go out of your way to collect, as you can clearly see by here. And I I don't know if you can pick up the trading cards and items if you're on your bike. So um, at some point, you probably will want to go off your bike if you want to collect everything. And this is the single worst possible time to get this power up, because your speed is at a tiny crawl. Sonic the Hedgehog will be weeping at your speed. Look at this. And unfortunately, because of the way this thing works, we need to slowly walk towards these enemies and hope... Can I kill them before the time runs up? Please say I can. No, god... <laughs> Again, that's the power-up system being very, very annoying. Well, that's more the case of the level design being annoying mixed with the power-up system being annoying, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's some, I, I've already harped on about the power-up system being obnoxious, and I'm really glad they sort of tried to improve it a little bit in the second game. I, I can't really remember the second game too much, but I'm pretty certain they improved the power-up system to no end. Uh, but either way, that is everything in this arena done and dusted, which allows us to access the innards of the stadium through the, through the underground sequence. You know, this kind of remind. I, I don't know why, but I always get... Streets of Rage 2 vibes from this stage, you know, I always expect the the actual main What's the field in the baseball stadium called? I'm gonna call it a pitch because I know rugby terms the main pitch I always got a feeling that's just gonna drop down. You'll have a giant elevator sequence I don't know why and I, I I really think it's probably that's probably just to do with Streets of Rage 2 because Streets of Rage 2 had a sequence like that and It made no sense, but it was absolutely amazing in that game, so I didn't complain but of course, want some sugar? Oh my! Next up is a ranking match. Win, and you will be second in rank. Lose, and you go to hell. Before you fight, please use the restroom. When you are ready, head inside. Good luck, Travis. Trust your force. Head for the Garden of Madness. I think she's running out of words to say. That was the shortest one yet. But yeah, want some sugar? <laughs> Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this boss fight coming up isn't what I would call a sweet variety of boss fight. Oh no, no. It, uh, closer to a salty boss, if I do say so myself. Because uh, you're 
One of the boss's main gimmicks is the fact she has the ability to one hit kill you and if you get hit by that, well you're gonna be crying salty salty tears ladies and gentlemen. But I digress, anyways just head on and fight her. This upcoming boss fight, I don't know, she always makes me, she freaks me out, it's, I think it's the way you design it, she always reminds me of like a sort of a druggie, you know, some one of those prostitutes that just take loads of drugs. I don't know. She all she just gives me that sort of vibe. I don't know whether it's because something to do with her eyes. I think. Ah, uh, but I digress. Let's go and take her on and become rank number two. This is insane! Phew! What a day. I need a drink. So fucking thirsty. Hold on a sec. Ah! <sighs> Damn that smooth. I feel alive again. Want a drink? I'll pass. Pop quiz. Why am I such an angry bitch? Seriously, no matter how many I kill, it's all the same. They're all going to pay. Yeah, with their fucking lives. You're a bad girl. You have no right to look at me like that. It's just a job. The daily grind. You're no assassin. You're just a perverted killing maniac. In essence, they're the same. Don't go on thinking you're better than me. You think you're hot shit. Who the fuck do you think you are? Come on! Dear God, that stare can... That, that stare is enough to freak out Satan. <laughs> but anyway, this year is Bad Girl, and to start things off, she is a very, very aggressive fighter. She'll run up to you, she'll hit you, and she will parry a lot of your attacks. And, uh... She's prone to doing a lot of cheap tricks like kicking you in the nads. Ooh, which is not lovely, it's not lovely. And what I mainly recommend to deal with her is abuse the living hell out of Shadow Step. What you want to do is just use that ability as much as you physically can, because that will, as you can see, eventually drain down her health. And abusing the charge attacks is also a very useful way to take her down. Now, I did mention she does have a one-hit kill move. Now, when you... It's actually very easily choreographed when she's about to do that. And uh, I'm going to point it out just as she's about to do it. So, you guys know what to watch out for, you know? But anyway, your biggest threat in this mission is running out of battery. Because you're going to be using a lot of battery in this one. Just without blocking her attacks. So she, like I said, she's really violent. She, I think she's... I think she's the most aggressive enemy in the entire game, with maybe the exception of the final boss, I don't know. But of course, one thing that she will eventually try to do as well, she will try to grab these wireframe gimp guys. Why are they wireframe? I don't know, they, they, they seem wireframe, I don't know why. And she will try to knock them at you. When she knocks the wireframe gimps at you, hit them back at her and it will initiate a little bit of damage and occasionally as you saw by there she was on the ground crying now that is a one hit kill move when she runs up to you and starts to drop on the floor and pretend to cry don't go near her if you go to attack her when she's crying on the floor death instant death so what I advise is the moment you see her animation start to so flop over roll away for the love of god roll away make like Sonic the Hedgehog and spin out of there because otherwise you're going to be in a great deal of pain. In fact, I don't I don't know if you need to be in a certain vicinity or if you just need to attack her to initiate the, the instant kill move, but I do recommend just not going near her. And honestly, I've never really fallen for the instant kill, kill move because it's really obvious that she's about to do something stupid if you hit her, but... You know, just in case, you don't want to do it in, if you are curious. I, I was tempted to show it off in this playthrough just to show you guys what she does, but... Yeah, I thought I better not, because I didn't really want to take on this boss fight, because... This, this game, is a, the boss fights go on pretty lengthy lengths of time, as you can tell, you know, folks? 
And I want to get this playthrough moving. I want to continue and reach the ending as quick as I can because, uh, well, I got other LPs I want to get to, ladies and gentlemen. I might love this game beyond the end, but uh, it's not the only game I want to tackle on my channel. What can I say? Now that I think about it, she would she would fit right in Alice in Wonderland. You know the that really twisted Alice in Wonderland. You know the, I can't remember the person who made it. Like uh, Madness Returns and that other one game. Ouch! <laughs> How mean! Now after she gets about halfway health, she will end up pulling out this liquor can and think, oh, I fancy a drink. But she isn't actually going to drink this drink. She's going to make like Xena the Warrior Princess and use it as a makeshift fire equipment thing. And suddenly, things are about to heat up. And what does this mean? Absolutely nothing. It just means she hits harder. That's all. So, um, just try not to get hit. I don't know if you actually catch on fire if she hits you, but uh, I rather not. You know, I rather not try it out. You know, I rather not test. I would just continue to try your best to not get killed by her. That's all I can really say. I've given all the advice I can. Although, when she does go into the space, she will start swinging at you wildly, even more wildly than before, so she does get even more aggressive, and just finding an opening to really strike her down can be quite awkward, which is why I, I recommend abusing the living hell of your charge attacks. Plus, I love the way the charge attacks look, you know, I all, oh gosh, we're playing tennis with gimps, that's something I never thought I'd ever say. <laughs> I do kind of like the way the charge attack looks. It kind of reminds me of when you charge up a shot in Mario Tennis because you get all this power electricity around you. And I don't know. I always like the the I always like the graphical effect of like electricity showing off power. I don't know why. It's it could, probably because uh, probably because I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z and stuff. And when you go into Super Saiyan 2, which is stronger, there's all electricity and stuff. I don't know. It, it just creates like an atmosphere of like oh shit, some this person's strong, yo. <laughs> Could be just me, but uh, I digress. Okay, you can stop hitting me any time now. There we go. And she's out of there. Fuck face. That's just mean. <laughs> Naughty girls need spankings. Maybe you forgot. I'm a bad girl. <laughs> 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 I won't lose. I will never lose. I give up. You win. Yes, I've won. <laughs> you know, somewhere out there, that's someone's fantasy, and it makes me. Yeah, no, 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 that's not, I'm not into that sort of thing. <laughs> Although I do like how she disintegrates video gamey style, you know. Like I say, this game doesn't take itself seriously at all, and she doesn't really disintegrate in the American release, which I think is kind of a missed opportunity. I, I like that little, I, I like she disintegrates. I, if the American version had sort of like this uncensorship along with the disintegrating of the bodies, I think it would be pretty cool. On behalf of Sylvia Crystal, I am here to tell you that you are now officially ranked second. Thanks. That was a close one. Almost didn't make it. It was a fine fight, sir. Shit, that was close. Eh, Travis is overreacting. All she did was boop me on the head a few times. I'm fine! I'm fine! All she did was boot me on a few heads a few times. I'm fine! I'm fine! And lather, rinse, repeat, because he's got a concussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that is ranked number two. Over and done with, ladies and gentlemen. We are now ranked number two, which means we got one more to go, ladies and gentlemen. It is almost the beginning of the end. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. And when we return next time, we'll do the last of the side missions. So yeah. Thanks for watching, people. Don't be sheepish. I'll catch you all then. Bye!